Hello everyone and a very warm and sporting welcome to Mishcon and the new season of our Sports Law Academy series. The Sports Law Academy is a free to access academic distance learning programme designed for junior lawyers, students and non-legal professionals, for those already working in the, in the industry as well as those looking to gain a practical and unique insight into contemporary sports law issues. Our goal is to facilitate debate, examine key issues in the world of sport and share knowledge in order to improve industry standards. And we also want to promote diversity and, and nurture future talent as well. We're going to hear from some really interesting figures in the world of sports technology and data. And not only that, we're really lucky to have both Sophie Wood and Anne Rose from our own sports group who have acted on some really interesting sports tech and data matters in recent months. One of our big initiatives over the past year has been the launch of our B2B uh, services subsidiary, La Liga Tech. So we're not only uh, processing data within our own organization and from fans and consumers, but also advising other organizations on how they should be structuring their data strategy and their consumer engagement. From our perspective, uh, being a gambling operator, uh, cases such as Project Red Card may be an issue for us down the line. Uh, but it'll be very interesting to see how the developments in this particular case may affect us down the line. From an upshot perspective, it's much more societal. So the work we do with our organizations is telling them whether an intervention is working or importantly is not working. What, what has happened because you've done something? How do we know that and what's the data telling you? We often talk as well about the education element that needs to be involved as well when people are looking exactly what they're buying, whether we should be having standards in place um, for not only for education, but for people to be able to understand what they're buying uh, and also as well to encourage interoperability. I think this is where football could really look at using the technology for good is, is how that technology can be used to really engage with your fan base, give them more say about how the clubs run, even help make decisions. I, I think that's where the value of the technology is. And I think that's what brands and individuals have to really do is think about how they educate the consumer or the fan. So sports technology and data are both really important parts of our strategy in the sports group here at Mishcon. We act for everyone from the leading fan token providers all the way through to very exciting um, health tech and other wearable devices. On the data side, we've been involved in some really kind of high profile disputes and issues for our clients, ranging from acting on the defendant side all the way through to providing quite strategic advice to rights holders when it comes to how they exploit and commercialise the data that their athletes and their participants are generating in competition. You know, what we're, what we're talking about here is whether it's an NFT and you're buying, um, you know, ownership of, of whether it's the digital ticket that comes with utility or whatever that is, or whether you're buying a fan token that comes with utility of membership services, that then can be resold. That's you know, that's very different to taking a position on something going up and down that's based on an event, right? Every club has at minimum access to this media coach platform, and often if you see a La Liga match on television, you'll see the managers with their media coach tablet doing their preparations and analysis of how the match so is it's going. It's a pool database effect. It is a pool database effect. Well, that's very really interesting. And for us, the main principle there, and, and there are a lot of people a lot smarter than me who are working on the ins and outs of this project, but you know, the main concept for us with the data that's generated around that project is it needs to be available to all uh, actors within the ecosystem, you know, with the proper consents, with the proper frameworks. But you know, we communicate with our players through an app, which is called the La Liga Players app. Every single player in the first and second division has it and they have access to their own personal data, to their health data, to their training data, along with a whole series of other messages, benefits, incentives that come with being part of the La Liga player family. So that's sort of our approach when it comes to that performance data side of things. There are a lot of terrible examples. There's John Terry, there's Paul Pogba and his Crypto Dragons, uh, Michael Owen saying that you can never lose money on his NFT, um, Soccer Mongo in Scotland. I mean, I could go on lot, lots of very bad examples and I think, you know, People like Sotius and other reputable companies, what, what they're really trying to do now is re-educate people. Um, and I do agree, you know, targeting that older generation or getting that older generation 
to see the benefit and, and making it easy to transition from Web 2, so you, your Facebook to Web 3, to the metaverse. It's been a pleasure to participate in today's uh, session. Um, I think we've had some great uh, conversations around data, around consents from consumers, around how data is processed and protected. We had a really, really great event this evening. We had, uh, the first section was around sports um, tech, so emerging tech in the area, so whether that's fan tokens, NFTs, the metaverse. We then had a really great panel discussion around all of those things, where we talked about data protection and the framework of data protection in sport, which is a really evolving area. I think one of the great takeaways is just the amount of interest in um, technology in, in the space. Um, and it's obviously great to have someone like Mishkon who's able to bring together um, all of the, the areas of experience and knowledge that they work across um, and pass that knowledge back through in the, in the Sports Law Academy.